Welcome to Hot. I'm talking Texas Hot, Houston, Texas, where temperatures are approaching near triple digits, but hey, it doesn't matter because some of the hottest competitors on water are here for this event. Hi, everybody. I'm Mike Tank, along with Australian national water ski champ Simon Hill. And Simon, this is a great facility, isn't it? Well, it sure is, Mike. What it is is a man-made lake. And what that means is that the sides of the lakes are shaped such that, so that the boat weights don't bounce backwards and forwards, and that means excellent flat water. There's a bit of a breeze blowing, but the skiers are saying that's not really going to factor. It's also one of the first world-sanctioned events being towed entirely with the extended pylon. Now, what that means is higher scores and closer competition. And the competitors, in the, as for the footers, they're all here, aren't they? Well, they're all here. Of course, one of the big names, Ron Scarpa, the raging bull. And now, he's the defending world overall champion. But Keith on one of the young guys, is here to try and knock him out of the ring. And as for the wakeboarders, Tara Hamilton is here. She's always on top, but she's being pushed this season by Emily Copeland. And as the men go, well, you don't get any bigger than Darren Scud Shapiro. The Sands are in the semifinals. Finals. And Brett Sands will be the first one to have the first run in the semifinals. Bowers has already run, so Sands knows he's got to score better than a 17.6, Simon. Well, this is one of the favorite trips of Brett Sands coming backwards. He's very, very aggressive slalom skier, former world champion in this event. He's really powering through the wakes here. He's got a step on it quickly to try and catch Lane Bowers, and he's doing exactly that very feverishly working from wake to wake there, and that's an excellent run from the Australian. Scores there, a total of 18.2 for Brett Sands. I, I didn't get to defend my title last year because I was injured, and um, this is the first time that if I make the final here today, I'll go get to Keith St. Ange, who beat me at the Worlds last year, so if he advances through, it's going to be a 1-2 in the World Final, so I'm really excited. I'm wrapped in um, conditions were tough, but it was fun. Up next is 18-year-old Jason Lee from Stark, Florida. We can see a distinctly different style here by Jason. Stand up a lot taller than Brett Sands, but very, very smooth. Look at him almost tiptoeing from one side to the other. Excellent technique there, and just nicely stepping over. Always oh, in trouble here. Lit wobbles a little bit and lost some major time there, Jason Lee. And Lee scores a solid 18.2. Next up, the number one seed, Keith St. Ange, and he is a dominant force in this sport, isn't he? Very dominant, and in all three disciplines as well, Mike. But here in the backward pass, this is the second of two passes. 15 seconds to cross the wake as many times as possible. Very important to keep that free foot up to get extra points going over on one foot. Gee, he's got a lot of pace going here as well, chasing Jason Lee. Gets it with an 18.8. Now, both the guys are saying it's fairly rough out there. It's a little easier coming backwards into the water. Yeah, definitely bad. You can lean away a little bit and push against the water, and plus uh, your foot's a little wider in the back position, so it's a lot easier. Okay, right on. We'll look forward to seeing you in the final. Great, thank you. All right, here's Sansies with his final run. He's from Winter Haven, Florida, but originally, Simon, Australian, isn't he? Well, he's still very much Australian, Brett Sands. He's a real character, and this a very familiar shootout, Brett Sands versus Keith Sinon, so this should be exciting. Again, a look here at the backward pass, the second pass, and he loves going back with this guy. He really can pick up the pace. Now, obviously, with Keith Sinon's coming up behind him, he's got a lot of work to do because Keith is very, very fast in both directions. Now, you see Brett here. Look how much he's leaning away from the boat. Very, very aggressive, keeping that free foot nice and high. And look how quickly he's changing directions from one side to the other. This is going to be a quick pass. This is an excellent run by the Australian Brett Sands. Really tearing it up here, putting the pressure on Keith Sinonj. And that's a huge score, 18.9. Very, very smooth, 18.9, and he has to be happy. Well, a great look here from the chase boat, and just look how far he's laying away from the boat, Mike, and that enables him to really sink the instep of that foot and quickly change from one side to the other. All right, here's Keith St. Ange. Is he up to the challenge? He's from Orlando, Florida. What will he do on his second run? Well, he's chasing Brett Sands. He's put out a huge score now. There's a lot of pressure on him here. Whoa, he gets a little bit on the outside there. That'll slow him down. So he's really going to have to step on it now, and he's doing exactly that. Same technique as Brett Sands, laying away from the boat and really sinking that instep, crossing the wakes as quickly as possible. Looking good here. He's really put on the pace, and that's an excellent run. And 19.8, excellent pass by Keith Sinon. And in the slow motion replay, you can see the power and the smoothness and the grace that Keith St. Ange used to win the slalom event. Now, that's a pretty huge score, 19.8. I mean, the world record's just over 20. Yep, everybody's been on about the conditions all day. It didn't bother you? It didn't bother me as bad this time. I, I kind of pushed the envelope a little bit, and I was giving it a little bit more than I even really wanted to. But it went fine. I just made sure I kept it clean, and having fun is the biggest part. And how do you like this head-to-head -head format? Oh, it's great. It's, it's exciting, not just for the skiers, but, you know, for the spectators and, and everybody. I like 
just kind of keeps everybody right on the edge of their seat. So it's great. Okay, great job. Congratulations. Thank you. Moving right along to the women's slalom comp. Now let's move on to the trick competition in the men's. Keith St. Ons, Jason Lee, Square Off, and Lane Bowers, and Ron Scarpa.